guys, I just finished building what is literally a $35,000 dream bike and I have to get rid of it. Now you might be wondering, you dumbass, what the hell would you do that for? And the truth is, guys, the bike wasn't built for me, it was built just for you. We started out with a 2023 MC250, cute little thing, turned it into a fire-breathing MC500 big bore two-stroke. Now, not only are we at the very end of this bike build and giveaway, we called this one Hellfire, if you're new, but if you're watching this video on the day it drops, you have seven days left to enter. This thing closes October 1st at midnight, we are done. Now it might be even crazier, right before we get into your full build overview, I wanna show you guys all the trick parts and pieces that went into building a $35,000 machine. I'm also gonna give away a couple grand worth of MX parts right now in this video as well. I have literally never done one of these MX Revival MX parts giveaways to this magnitude ever. It's just going to be huge and I'm gonna show you what we're giving away right now. I had to write myself some notes because there's that much stuff. Now, today we're gonna to do a couple different types of giveaways. I'm gonna do some comment giveaways. It's been a while since I've done some of those. And then I'm also gonna do some MX parts giveaways for everyone who's already entered to win Hellfire on MXRevival.com. Some of you guys already know the drill. A lot of you guys are already entered and you're just here to be entertained. I appreciate you so much. Now for my three comment giveaways, in today's video, guys, I'm gonna give away a pair of the Stuck Nuts Thread Locker, both the high strength and the regular strength. I had to use the ever-living hell out of this stuff on this build because these KTM Gas Gas Huskies are covered with thread lockers, so this was perfect. Thank you, Sean. I'm also gonna be giving away a brand new chain wear gauge from Dirt Tricks. These are awesome. They tell you if your chain is jacked, stretched out, in time for a new one, or if you're still good to run it. My third and final comment giveaway for the day, a pair of these badass WUSA tire spoons. You can change your tires with these. They also come with several different axle nuts adapters so these things are kitted out for just about any bike so now for the parts for everyone who's already entered to win hellfire guys as we peel through your bike overview today we're going to make pit stops and go over what i'm giving away i'll start this list with a big one we've got one of the 600 whoppers the brand new electron pro we'll get to that in a minute also got the slacker digital sag scale help you set up your mountain bike or your dirt bike when you're at the track swap in springs get it dialed in to ride just right also going to be giving away a full custom set of decal works graphics these things are absolutely unreal they're worth 300 bucks going to give away some 3dp moto 3d printed dirt bike parts as well front and rear brake line guides also going to be giving away a set of phoenix handlebars and grips we'll get to those in a minute as well it's 150 dollars value and last but most certainly not least guys the brand Brand new Onium Pro goggles. There are only 10 of these made. These are limited edition Hellfire specific goggles. We've got the red with the blaze lens and the MX Revival Onium on one side with the commemorative Hellfire on the other. Only 10 pairs of these. So as you guys can see, I have a load of stuff to give away today. We're also going to start your bike for the very first time on YouTube. Maybe you guys saw the sneak peek on Instagram. If you're not, you need to go check it out. Link below. Either way, we're going to show you how to fire up this bad boy right here with the electric start. And moving forward with this build, like I said, in just a few days, this contest is closed. It is over. I would love it if you shared this with a friend, but once it's finally over, just two weeks after that, we are doing the live stream giveaway for Hellfire. That's gonna be October 14th on a Saturday. If you guys entered, you're gonna get an email from me as well. Now, if you guys think I'm giving away a lot of MX parts today, we're gonna do the exact same thing on live stream day. I have electrons to give away, decal works graphics to give away, more Phoenix bars. I'm gonna give more Onium goggles away as well. We've got some 3DP brake line guides. We've got some more dirt tricks parts. So we're not just gonna blast in there, give the bike away. We're gonna stick around for a while. We're gonna have some fun. We're gonna have a ton of runner up prizes and I can't wait to do that with you. Now I failed to mention it, but for the comment giveaway today, guys, say whatever you want. I actually don't give a shit what you say. Just say something cool and I'm gonna pick my favorite comment by the time the contest close and three of you guys are going to be winning the prizes I showed earlier. Lastly, go ahead and check out last weekend's full reveal video of Hellfire. That is the video where we dropped this thing to the public for the very first time. You're gonna love it. There are some twists. There's more than one body style. We also got to film it down at Recluse headquarters in Boise. That was amazing. For now, let's go ahead and jump into handheld mode. We're gonna go over each and every single thing that went into building this absolute monster of a bike for you. Cannot wait to see who wins it. All right, here we go, guys. Your bike came out. Just unbelievable. Sexiest thing we've built here for sure. We've got details across the board. Everywhere you look, you find something. The more you look, the more you find. Maybe that's the most important detail right there. Everything is brand new. Everything is super glossy or custom. I think I reused the tank and the front brake line guide, although I did have a custom one made. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into this full overview 
with your 2023 Gas Gas MC500 two-stroke dirt bike build and giveaway that is a mouthful called Hellfire. Now guys, I like to start at the top because as some of you may remember from previous giveaways in my head, when I'm doing an Instagram post, I close my eyes and I think about the bike top to bottom as I'm tagging all the members of my amazing build team. So we'll start off with these Phoenix handlebars. These are absolutely amazing. These are the ones we are going to be giving away today. Got some Phoenix 50-50 grips. All the grips come with free gold safety wire, by the way, so lucky you. Now this is one of the bar pad options you guys can win. There are other colors as well. This one's my favorite. Of course, it works really well on this particular build, but we went ahead and used a pair of the Phoenix 70s. They are the lowest bend Phoenix offers, and they are also what they call the 118s. They're the larger diameter bar, not the 78s, which are a 7 8 with a crossbar. Now we've also got a badass CNC cut made in America ZRT throttle in here, zero resistance throttle. This thing rides on bearings on either end, so it physically cannot touch the handlebar. You guys may remember the video where I slapped this thing before it was tied into the throttle housing and it just spins and spins and spins and you can crash the hell out of it. You probably won't break it. I dare you to try. Other than that, in the controls department, guys, obviously Dean at Fast Blast took care of all of your coatings. We've got Cirque coat concrete. I believe this was blackout. I don't think that's armor, can't remember. Got your clutch. Oh, that's your brakes. We don't want to squeeze those yet. We'll get to the black rotors that I'm trying not to scrape the zinc off of. Got the clutch dialed in. Everything's bled and coated. We'll get down to the other end of this line soon where you will find a recluse slave cylinder. And everything's just nice and tidy. Brand new e-start button, brand new kill switch. Just everything is clean. Check this out too. We've got coatings everywhere you look. Everything is fresh in there. You got the vapor blasted stem nut. Everywhere there's a torque specific item, I go ahead and do a little dab of torque seal. That's what that gray stuff is. There are just too many details. Man, those KYB inserts in your air fork, Yamaha suspension, don't worry. We'll get there too. Now you guys may have noticed all of the brand new hardware underneath the bar pad, just like these beautiful M8 dished head bolts here. Everything in this bike has been swapped out. You guys may remember KTMs come with this really kind of powder gray hardware. Bolt motorcycle hardware swapped out everything for us. So all throughout the bike, we have dished head bolts all throughout the engine. That is the bolt motorcycle hardware engine fastener kit. We've got the M5s in the frame. Everywhere you look, we got just dished head or zinc plated. We'll get more into some of the zinc plating soon, but I mean, down to the pedal tip, we've got the M5s in there. Everything hardware wise has been replaced or if you can see it, Dean probably hates me. I had him Cerakote some of the bolts. Like I said, he's probably thinking, what the hell is wrong with this guy? There's another Cerakoted bolt. I couldn't get the plating off of those, so we Cerakoted them, just like those cotter pins in the top of your brake caliper there. At any rate, moving down the line, I think the next unavoidable thing, technical touch KYB conversion done by AHM Factory Services. Guys, these are no longer air forks. These now house Yamaha Triple S internals. So you got coil springs, no more air. These are gonna hook up like Velcro on dirt. Brandon also went ahead and did some gold anodizing for us up here. You've also got the DLC coating down low. Hard to see the shock shaft right now, but we'll get to it. Got some DLC coating in there. Now you can see it pretty well. New springs, gold body. Dean also coated everything up top. I vapor blasted all that stuff, the silver while it was apart. Got all your zinc plated hardware holding that together. There's the linkage, may as well mention, vapor blasted, casting flash also removed with some of Cameron's amazing Prime MX pads. And then another awesome detail that comes with these technical touch KYB inserts, you got the billet anodized lower lugs, super freaking cool looking. Again, more bolt motorcycle hardware in the fork guards, in the lugs themselves holding the axle, more vapor blasting. Brandon also made sure to put a super trick ride engineering preload collar on there. Hard to get the camera to zoom in on that, but you can see it back there. Really nice. It's got numbers on it. So you can actually count the turns when you're adding or removing preload from your shock spring. Hard to miss that gorgeous red frame. Guys, we did our very best, Dean and I, to select a color that was dead on with your plastics. And in different hues of light, you can see that it actually does match it perfectly. Decal Works did a great job with their gas gas red as well. I believe these plastics are called lava red on the gas gas and this powder coating color, should you need it, is called vine red. Works really, really good on the gas gas. So Dean had this thing covered from top to bottom with all the concrete gray, Cerakote clamps, your brakes and clutch up top, obviously the frame, 
bottom of the shock while it was all apart. Everything from Dean just came out so nice. He even went ahead and brushed your Brembo logos for you. So those would pop out. Entire bottom end of the engine, concrete gray. Now, of course, the reason this big bad beast looks the way it does is going to be thanks to my guys at Decal Works. They crushed it on so many levels. Like I said, if you didn't see that reveal video, you need to watch it. You need to see the alternate body style for this thing. I didn't even ask for it. Mikey, you're so creative, man. Thank you for going out of your way to make the hell mode kit that will also be included when you guys win Hellfire. But we went with a super OEM theme. If you guys are familiar with the regular gas gas, it actually says gas gas right through there. Pretty similarly in a different font, of course. I've been super geeked out on ultra modified stock looks. So that's kind of what's going on here. Decal Works laid these down on brand new plastics from MX Plastics. I'll leave a link below for every sponsor today. So if you guys need kits, you can actually get the kits pre-installed on brand new plastics. MX Plastics, Decal Works has you guys covered. Kind of hard to miss the custom seat cover. You guys can do the same thing with Decal Works. You can custom color the stripes. You can do the seat base color different. You can get seats with or without a brand specific logo on the side. This is part of that highly modified stock look I'm going for right now. I love the way this seat came out. It fits perfectly. And I could not be happier with how this kit came out with the seat cover, the red, white, and black. Very bold, very clean. Like I said, the hell mode kit is sick too. But guys, don't forget, also giving away a set of these Decal Works graphics today. Full custom, your name, your number, your logos, everything you want, 300 bucks worth. We are taking care of you guys and your bike will look just as good, if not better. And this here, the 51, Barsha still hasn't called me back. Man, I don't know what's going on, but we really wanted him to beat the crap out of this thing, with your permission, of course, once you win. Maybe we'll get lucky and he'll give us a ring. Another one of my favorites on this bike is this decal here for the FMF power core style or smaller, older style FMF pipes for the rear. Now, we developed this just for you guys. I sent in all the dimensions of the original logo. Decal went ahead and made it larger. We added a holographic in this, and as you can see, there's a lot of custom touches, the bike name, the number, so you guys can deck your bikes out with these now. Get the holographic, put your last name in there, whatever you like, your rider number. Those things are so sick, so those are now available for you as well. Let's go ahead and check this thing out too. This is the 3DP, 3D printed brake line guide. So these are really cool. These did not exist for the Austrian brands before this build, so now you KTM guys can pick yourself up a set of rear brake line guides. I guess it's not a set, it's just a solo one. But Josh also made me, maybe you can see it way back there, some plugs for this swing arm. Different colors, got some gray ones that fit the vapor blasted swing arm perfectly. So some new KTM or Austrian products. Not really much you can do up here on these bikes. They come with the integrated clamp in the fort guard. So 3DP wasn't gonna leave you guys hanging, still made you guys some parts. Now don't forget when you guys get entered to win Hellfire on MXRevival.com in this episode, in addition to the Phoenix handlebars and grips you can win, we are also giving away sets of these. If you have Japanese bike, you'll get front and rear brake line guides. If you're Austrian bike, we got some codes that will work for you too. So that's one of our other giveaway items in today's video. I think it's time we talk about those W wheels. What do you say? Guys, these came out amazing. We were able to do something a little different without being so different that it looks stupid on the bike, you can go really wild with colors and kind of make a mistake in that regard, uh, I believe. So we went with obviously the black excels. We've got the titanium colored anodizing on the hub, which ties in very well with several hues of this amazing Huga performance bike, which of course we'll get into soon enough. But then we also have the red nipples. I didn't want to go too safe where we had black rim, red nipples, red hub, blah, blah, blah. So we pulled it apart a little bit. I think it came out amazing. Same with the rear, also looks really great. These wheels just pop, something different, and then they weren't out in the open on their own, like I said, because they tie into that pipe so well. I'm getting some really cool comments on YouTube and Facebook from you guys about picking up your brand new W wheel sets. I don't think you're using your codes though. Just remember guys, if you guys are gonna pick up some wheels, I've got 10% off codes for the edge sets and I've got 20% off codes for these sets. I'll leave those in the description below for you again. Not only does that help W track whether or not I'm worth a damn, but 20% off a wheel set becomes quite a bit of money saved. So don't forget to use your codes. And before we go any further, we're gonna take a quick pit stop and check these bad boys out. These are so incredibly sick. It is amazing to have a friend that would go out of his way 
to make just 10 sets of goggles uh, for me, for you guys, for this build. Uh, I'm really grateful, Brian. Thank you very much. Today, I'm gonna give away two pairs of these. I think two pairs will be good. We'll do some more during the live stream as well. Again, guys, got the all red with the blaze lens, the custom strap. My guys at Onium just came out with a new triple layer foam that's a little bit thicker here and the nose pocket is a little bit deeper. So that's the new thing over there, super comfortable. I have a big ass nose. I'm basically almost Jewish at this point, very Italian, but these goggles actually come with your first sets of tear offs as well. I believe there's 20 in a pack. So you need to check that new triple layer foam out, get yourself a set of those anyways. But also, like I said, we will give away a couple pairs of these in today's video. Brian, you just crushed these. All right, now it's time to talk about some awesome Dirt Tricks products. Guys, they hooked us up not only with these blacked out rotors, these things have a warranty. They are so hard to ruin that if you can actually do it, they'll hook you up with a free set, but they also sent us one of their Elite kits. We'll spin the bike around to check that out. But we'll do a little pit stop at this blacked out rotor. These things are perfect for the bike build. They can laser etch them for you. There's another Hellfire logo, just unreal against these other colors, the lugs. Dean's brakes, just crazy. On the other side of this monster, we're able to take a closer look at all the Dirt Tricks parts, the Elite Kit as they call it. This is their new chain and sprocket kit, so you guys can actually hit up their website, get a brand new chain and sprocket set, pick yourself up one of these little lock washers, Bellevue washers. These sprockets have a warranty as well. If you can break this thing or damage it, they will replace it for you. It, unbelievably strong, unbelievably light. You can see how whittled down it is. Came with a really nice 520 Regina gold chain. Don't worry, we're gonna talk about that little factory trickness here in a little bit. That was something Uncle Tony from EMF did for you guys. Dirt Tricks had some more laser etching back here as well. There's another Hellfire logo for you. Like I said, the more you look, the more you find. And I've given a few of these away throughout the build series, but now we actually have the thing unpackaged. I can actually show you how the damn thing works. This is the new Dirt Tricks chain wear gauge. And as you can see, Gives you a few instructions right there on when you lay this in your chain, you can tell if it's worn or if it's still good. Obviously, this one's gonna be just fine, it's brand new. Let's give her a try. Drop this thing in, falls right into the groove up there. So if you're in the grooves, you're good. If you are out of the groove, something like that, no good, time for a new chain. So again, go ahead and say whatever you want for these comment giveaways. Make me laugh, make me cry, say something dumb. I don't really care. Now, of course, Hellfire is breathing through my favorite brand of air filters, the No Toil. I love their system. You can just take those dirty air filters out, throw them in the washing machine when your wife's not looking. They come out clean. They are not petroleum based. Like I said, my very favorite. I love the spray oil. So thank you so much to Ryan at No Toil for hooking us up with some air filters, as well as the $100 gift cards you allowed me to give away during this build series. We really appreciate it. What do you guys think? Should we talk about it? That big, massive 500cc power plant that's taken up every last bit of real estate inside that gas gas frame. So as a lot of you guys already know, this is a BRC racing engine kit specific for this frame. These 500cc kits drop right into the frame. You do not need to modify anything. That is amazing. Now what's awesome is the engine that used to be in here, the MC250 engine was counterbalanced and so are these BRC 500s. So really great to knock down vibration. 500s are pretty much synonymous with it. This coupled with a steel frame is going to feel really nice. These engines also use common wear parts. So inside you will find a CR500 piston, for example, you don't need to go hunting down some special part you can't find if you do one of these conversions. Really cool to do another big board project with BRC. Lots more to come in the future. Another really great feature, you guys are probably gonna have a hard time seeing it. There is an exhaust valve in here. Flaps about when you're giving her the revs. So that exhaust valve is something CR500s also never had. Really cool, that's where the two stroke hit comes from on these bad boys. We also know that we converted this bad boy into e-start. We're gonna start that up pretty soon together. Hang tight. So this is really cool. This used to be a kicker model only MC250, not anymore. And then another cool feature is that if you guys are interested in one of these 500 engines for your bike, for your project, you can get them for the Yamaha 2002 and up. Make your YZ a 500, but obviously Steve also has you covered with insane handmade cone pipes. These engines just use the transmission out of your donor bike. So for example, the MC250 tranny is in here. The YZ500 we did, same thing. We put a new YZ250 tranny in it. And this kit also comes with exhaust. So the silencer in the back, that comes with your engine kit as well as the brand new cases. 
the crank, all the gaskets, the cylinder, the piston, all that stuff. If you guys don't want to upgrade to the cone pipe right away, this engine will even come with a head pipe, a stamped raw steel version. Also want to say thank you to Riley for hooking me up with the wiring harness that completed the e-start puzzle, all the wiring harness, etc that was not in this bike before this e-start conversion. Also under the seat, special thanks to my boy Kevin at Ridemore for sending us a very, very nice high-powered lithion battery. Thanks to you, this thing actually has the juice it needs to crank over. Another trick part hidden under the seat with that battery from Kevin is a dual map switch. So this CDI actually has two different maps. You guys can go to full power or slightly retard the ignition in the other position. Very cool. Now guys, if it wasn't for Uncle Tony at Elite Moto Factory, this engine would not be assembled. So OCD care and attention to detail assembled this entire engine for you. Uncle Tony is an absolute beast. Some of you know there's something special inside the engine as well. Comment baby elephant if you know what I'm talking about. You guys can also comment dirty uncle if you're on that train. Some of you know what I'm talking about with that as well. Either way, Tony, thank you so much for assembling this thing with the utmost care. It came out awesome. Love it when you do the engravings for me. Another little factory touch from Uncle T himself. Went ahead and drilled this bolt that holds your sprocket on. Had to take the Dirt Trick sprocket to a machinist to use a carbide bit to drill the holes in the top. See if I can rotate that and get a better view for you. It was so stinking hard, most of the machine shops were just burning up bits. So that is in case this bolt were to ever come loose. It actually gets stopped by the safety wire. Just something from Tony's Supercross days. Another little factory mechanic trick. Next up, another giveaway for today. A $600 Lectron Billitron Pro Series. This is the brand new carburetor that they just came out with. So not only does one of these bad boys come in your bike, but you also have another chance to win one today, as well as the upcoming live stream. But don't skip out. Don't think there's gonna be an extra one later. If you miss this one, it's gone. So get entered. So the new Pro added a third jetting circuit, so to speak, for the very very, very bottom end. Older electrons might have been a little soft on the bottom for some of your likings, but now they have this circuit as well. They still have the regular Billitron without it if you don't want extra complexity, but if you want a nasty hit off the bottom, they added a brand new pickup for you. In terms of the big air, this is their new big bore specific carburetor, 300cc to 500cc, so this is actually a 39 millimeter. This particular one is anodized in black and you can't see it, but we've even got the Hellfire logo on the front of it for you, just to add another special touch. So good luck winning one of those today to all you who have already entered or are going to. So while that Electron Big Air is hard at work getting the proper air to fuel mixture into the engine, this badass Hugo Performance handmade cone pipe is getting it all out. Unreal, you guys absolutely killed it, complete with the custom Hellfire badge. You guys are so freaking spoiled and a clear coat high temp clear coat. I'm actually not allowed to tell you what it is. It's not Cerakote, but it looks amazing, fits amazing, sounds amazing. We're gonna hear it in just a minute. Man, I just love building bikes with this team, man. Everybody just knocks it right out of the park. Next up, guys, I had so much fun hanging out at Red Clues headquarters, giving you guys the full facility tour and showing you guys how this stuff is made. A couple episodes back if you missed it, but Hellfire is rocking a complete core manual torque drive setup inside. This is Recluse fibers, steels, inner hub and pressure plate, as well as the obvious custom clutch cover. Now, a little surprise, and it's only because I forgot to mention it earlier in this video, but in this video today, I'm giving one of these away. I'm gonna give away a custom engraved Recluse clutch cover for your bike. So this logo here, the special Hellfire logo, we can do your name, your number, a special logo if you have it, but I'm gonna hook you guys up with one of these in this episode as well. So don't forget to get entered on mxrevival.com. Other side, we have a really nice CNC cut billet recluse slave unit. This thing's gonna make modulation much better up at the finger where the lever is and also going to flex less under stress and heat versus the cast unit that normally comes on this bike. This really rounds out the recluse setup. Boys at Pro Moto Billet also hooked us up with some really nice fast wave foot pegs. These are the EXTs. These are the million dollar foot peg as they're now known. Eli Tomac probably would still have his Achilles had he been rocking a set of these during Supercross. These things are awesome. If you guys go a little too hard, case something, get a little too much flex in the old ankle, there's a little platform right there. It's gonna catch the heel of your boot. Black anodized billet aluminum look really good. They actually match the fork lugs up there very nicely. Then of course we have all the hardware fastening them on. We got re-zinc plated main pins. Went ahead and zinc plated your return springs as well. And something really cool we used way back towards the beginning of this build series before things were coated and whatnot. These are a pair of Cameron's six inch Prime MX pads. We went ahead and burned off all the casting flash. There used to be a line on these triple clamps. Went all the way around the outside. 
We use these, first the coarse, then the fine, got them nice and smooth before Dean Cerakoted them. As you can see, you wouldn't even think these were stock clamps. They came out so nice. Same thing with your linkage arm. We used Cameron's Prime MX pads to burn off all that casting flash, get everything nice and smooth, and then of course ran them through the vapor blaster. Came out amazing. All of your hardware that required thread locker is held together by stuck nuts. This is a comment giveaway today too, guys. So go ahead and leave me a comment. Win a bottle of each. Well, this stuff came in clutch. Like I mentioned earlier, these Austrian bikes are literally littered with thread locker absolutely everywhere. Now we would not even have this machine to begin with if it weren't for Carl's Cycle, Downtown Boise. Guys, thank you so much for the amazing deal on the bike. It made all of this possible. Without this to start with, we wouldn't have what we're looking at now. So huge shout out to you guys as well. Thank you so much for being a part of this. We'll go ahead and get into the reason why we built this bike in the first place. Towards the end, we still got to fire this thing up and I got a few more badass things to show you as well. I want to send a thank you to Jay Clark for hooking you guys up with the Dunlop tire stickers. It's something you can't just scoop up off the street anywhere and they look really good on a project like this, just like a Supercross bike. Love those, so thanks, Jay. Let's take a quick look at yet another comment giveaway in today's video, guys, the W Tire Spoons. Sorry, I actually opened these ones up, so they already had my filthy paws all over them. Some of you guys will be into that, and maybe some of you won't. Anyways, you can see all the adapters they come with, so you can fit these over different axle nuts, and of course, they are for changing your tires as well. So again, leave a comment, say whatever the hell you want, and that is our third and final comment giveaway in today's video. Thank you, W. Guys, we're not done. I still have one more item to give away in today's video for all who have entered to win Hellfire, of course. This is the Slacker Digital Sag Scale, and this thing kicks ass. Let me show you how it works. Get a bunch of stickers and stuff, always nice. Truth be told, I had kind of a hard time fitting this in because while Johnny, the owner of Motul, is an OG in the moto scene, this is actually the 10th anniversary edition, really cool. He's a newcomer to MX Revival builds and giveaways. So thank you for being a part of this. Guys, check this thing out. You just fire it up. Once you fire this thing up, it'll zero itself out and you can hook it up to your bike and check your sag. It's so nice to be able to do this by yourself. It's a struggle to check sag without a guy holding up your bike, another guy sitting on the bike, which is usually you and all your gear, and then a third guy checking a scale on the back. This thing actually hooks up to your phone. You can do this by yourself. It is so cool. We're gonna check it out right now. Slacker has a magnet on the back. It just hooks right up to your steel axle. As you guys can see, I had some protective tape on there. Easy does it. Next thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna take the hook from the Slacker and hook it up to your fender. Now, the Slacker also comes with a bunch of different attachments. Here's one of them. You can clamp this onto your fender. If you wanna set this up every time, you can see the anchor point on the end for the hook. Or if you'd like, the Slacker also comes with these sort of GoPro style sticky mounts where they stick onto your fender. There's another anchor for the hook. There's probably 10 or more of them in here. Stick it on your fender and you just leave it there. You just go ahead and take your included anchor point, hook it up to your fender like so, nice and easy. A lot of fenders nowadays have a line in the plastic mold where they like you to anchor this for sag scale measurements. So when I turned the Slacker on, it automatically connected to my phone when I opened this app. It's called the Slacker Virtual Remote. As you guys can see, it's zeroed out there. Now when you sit on your bike to check your sag, I'm gonna go ahead and load the rear wheel. You guys can see, you can have your phone up on your bars and you can check sag all by yourself. Really nice, you don't need a buddy to help out at all. This is quite easily one of my favorite tools I own and when I'm done with it, the magnet, I just slap it inside the wall of the moto van. I have it wherever I go. Guys, I am stoked to wrap up our build team overview with one of my favorite tools. As you can see, we are giving away a lot of MX parts today. <clears throat> Let me bust out my list. So if you wanna win any of today's prizes, the Slacker, the Recluse Clutch Cover, which I failed to mention earlier, that thing is sick. The Decal Works Graphics, the 3DP Moto Brake Line Guides, the Phoenix Handlebars and Grips. Of course, the badass Electron Billetron Pro. Onium goggles are unreal, and don't forget about the comment giveaways. Like I said, say whatever you want, guys. Now, having said all that, I think it's time we finally fired this up for you. I'm gonna show you how to do it. You gotta use a special decomp. We're gonna press that magic button. We're gonna make some smoke. We're gonna hear this thing sing. Fuel's on. We've already got a bunch of fuel in our Big Air Pro from doing a previous heat cycle. Next important note on these BRC racing engines, you wanna go ahead and depress the decomp valve. That's going to allow a little bit of compression to bleed off while we're trying to start this pig. It doesn't matter if it's kick or magic button, it's gonna make it a lot easier for the engine to start, a lot less stress on the components. Once this thing fires up, plunger shoots back out and you get full compression. Had to leave myself a little note. It says decomp on it, so I do not forget to hit that decomp plunger down below. Let's go ahead and fire this thing up.
Guys, your bike is pissed off. It is nasty. It is ready to shred. I cannot wait to call one of you guys and let you know that you won this thing. If you're lucky, I might call you like I called Josh, our YZ500 winner earlier this year, pretended to be an Indian car warranty guy. He didn't know what the hell was going on. At any rate, this is it. This is the end of the build. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. If you guys have any questions for me about your badass Hellfire build, go ahead and drop them below. I'd be stoked to answer them. I wanna give a very, very special thank you to every one of the MX Revival build team members. Those are the guys and girls that are making all this possible. I wanna thank you guys for being the most important part of the entire thing without you guys none of this can happen grateful for every single one of you kind of crazy this is the life i'm living right now i'm literally building my dream life thanks to you so guys if you've already entered to win hellfire thank you so much you can enter again there are no limits on this thing if you haven't entered yet guys i am so excited for you to take a crack at this and all the mx parts we listed off today don't forget to leave me a comment to win one of the three comment giveaways today and enter on mxrevival.com to win anything i've spouted off today and if you think that was good Wait till the live stream. We have at least that much, if not more MX parts to give away. But this is it. This is the end. This is your last chance, guys. October 1st at midnight, starting today. When this video drops, I think we have seven days left. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you love this thing. It's all for you guys. You can go ahead and keep this Hellfire party going by smashing this video link right here. You can also get yourself entered by smashing this link right here. And guys, until next time, shred safe. I'll be fingers crossed for you and I will see you soon.